Hello and welcome back to Amazing Sewing Corner. Today I'm going to be drafting and cutting a side pleat splash and spread down. And the first thing I'll be doing is to draft a, a gown from this my front bodice pattern. And the first thing I'll do is to I'm just going to reduce my neck depth to about four inches. Is to reduce the depth of the neckline. I don't want it to be that low the one for this project. And then I'm just going to be retracing out, tracing out the the curves on my new pattern. So my waist to hips is eight inches, and I'm just going to mark out eight inches from that waist. Uh, to, to I'll take my hips measurement on that um, that point. So. And then I'm just going to continue the rest of the measurements to the base of the gown. So, as you can see. After the neckline, I'm just going to give it a round neck. To cut it. The next thing I want to do now is to open my gown. So the next thing I want to do now is to take my vertical measurement. Please take your measurement from that close to the neckline. So I'm just going to take out my bust point length from shoulder to bust point, shoulder to under bust, and shoulder to waist measurement. First one is my boss point. I'm going to draw a straight line to the center of this my pattern. As you can see, yeah, that's the center front. Then <coughs> I'm just going to label it. The boss point and the bust and the waist. So now this this style we want to work this time working on this project i'm going to use the under bust as the reference point it's going to be the center where the curve of all the pleats will be so i'm just going to mark 4.5 upwards that is above the under bust measurement and 4.5 below the under bust measurement and also i'll come in by 4.5 into the under bust as into the under bust measurement so uh, i'm just going to so that means from the tip, I'm going to have 9 inches to the base, that is 4.5 being at the center, that is on the bust, and then 4.5 into the measurement. So, yes, like this. And I'm just going to connect it. Okay, then. But I won't stop here. I'm going to increase the under bust measurement. I'm going to increase the. I want a bit of hollow, so I'm just going to come in by 1.5 again. You can decide to use this if you want, but I just want to try out what this will give me. So, because I already know what this um, 4.5 round will give me, so I want to try something different. So, then I'm just going to connect it to that 1.5. I'm not going to increase the base and the tip of the measurements, so I'm just going to come in like this. The next thing I want to do now is to mark 1 inch round this curve in line. So you can decide to increase yours, that means you have bigger pleats. And you can decide to decrease it to like maybe three quarter, but um, I just don't want to manage my fabric at the same time get a moderate pleat. So the next thing to do now is to spread this one inch round this one our gown pattern. So all of the fabric, all of this gown pattern must take part of this one in.
please feel free to ask me any question in the comment section i would love to to see a comment and if you have another way you want us to you want me to try you can also write it there for me and for others to learn too so i want to i'm going to highlight those uh, mark points those um those lines that i won't be looking for it every time i cut it out so i'm just going to make it very visible as you can see marking it out clearly and i'll just cut that curved line The next thing is just to cut across all those straight lines, or the diagonal lines, just to cut across them. But please do not leave like 0.5 inch allowance. So don't cut everything out. So. so this is what I got after splitting them slashing them so and the distance between each one is about one inch so I'm just going to place it on my main fabric and cut it out as you can see let's go and plate so you can see I've marked out the the one inch so that it's very visible for me to see the pleats we are replacing the pleats just going to fold it again and then pleat it like this actually there are two methods and I'll be sharing the two in this video but the next thing I want to know is to notch the center of this pleat and also notch the center of that I'll cut the line you see so I'm just going to notch the center so that both will fit in there won't be shortage at one side This is the machine so please please carefully and take your time there's no rushing in this work just take your time and so that you can have a very neat job my notches on the 0.5 inch I'll be sewing on. I forgot to say, to say it earlier but please remember to add 0.5 inch allowance when you're cutting out that curved end. Now this is what it looks like. show you how to do the other method which is to gather it together so we just saw a gathered um, stitch on on 0.5 inch allowance and then you pull the thread you can pull the first one the one above or the one from the shuttle so I think I pulled the first thread the thread from the wool spin itself so you just pull it up and then you can see it we gather together you, you adjust it and also notch the center of this and the center of the other side so that we can meet at one point. So what I'm going to be doing now is to measure around this um, this circular piece, you know, to know what the, the, the measurement is, and then 
take their measurements on the, 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 the fabric itself. And shades evenly. So I'm just going to sew it round. And thank you so much for watching to this point. I hope you learned one or two things. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.